Hello, my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome to Getting Started with PCF, the BIM collaboration format. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Kupus PCF Manager in Simple BIM to communicate the issues found from the model effectively to other parties and how by doing so, you are able to lift your IFC workflow to next level. PCF is the BIM collaboration format used for building information model based collaboration in construction projects. The PCF manager for Simple BIM can be downloaded from DataCubist or Kupus website. Using PCF manager is free. By default it will run in a demo mode with some restrictions. To get most out of the PCF manager Register to Gupus and get your free full license to your SimpleBeam PCF Manager. After you have installed PCF Manager, a new workspace is added to SimpleBeam. You can open it from the Home tab under Workspaces. You can use PCF Manager to manually report issues from the model. However, the creator power comes from using the PCF Manager together with SimpleBeam's validation features. But first, let's create an issue manually. Simplify the related objects from the model. Rotate and zoom the 3D to a position where the objects are well visible and the issue can be easily understood. Note that you can use isolate and coast or any other 3D features to create better snapshot for your issue. Click on the new issue button. Give your issue a title, status and type Choose whether you want to link the issue to current selected or visible objects. This way you can make sure that the user of your PCF report will easily find related objects in the receiving application. Finally, describe the issue in the comment and click OK. A snapshot from the current 3D view will automatically be added to the issue. Note that you can edit the issue if you need. Take a new snapshot or even draw over the snapshot to even better communicate your message. Okay, now let's run the validation to the model and use the results to automatically create the issues. First, run a template which has the validation rules defined. Then click on the validate button. The found issues are listed and you can choose which one you want to use to create the issues. Note that you can also choose whether to automatically create snapshots and viewports for your issues. Click Create Issues and the issues are added to the list. Note that you can finalize the issues by editing the snapshots or comments as any manual created issues. When you are happy with the results, save your findings to a PCF file and share it with others. The files are small, so this can be done either via email or, for example, uh, a shared folder in, in the cloud. Okay, here we are in Archicad. Let's have a look at the issues here. The model which was used to create the IFC file is already open. Now open the PCF manager and open the PCF file. Double click on the issue and it is visualized in the 3D. The comment will tell you more details about the issues. After you have resolved the issue, you can tell others about it by, for example, adding a comment and changing the status. This will not only allow you to effectively communicate your decisions to other parties, but will also save a traceable record of the whole workflow and decisions made for later use. Finally, let's look at how we can visualize PCF issues created in another system in SimpleBIM. Open a PCF file. Double click on the issue to visualize it in the, in the 3D. Read the comment and write your response. Exactly the same way as we did in Archicad. PCF Manager and SimpleBIM are match made in heaven. Using SimpleBIM in your IFC workflow, you are able to set and note the data requirements of the receiver, validate your data against those requirements, edit the data to meet the requirements and finally, with PCF Manager, communicate the issues found to other parties. Using this workflow will almost automatically lift your IFC workflow quality to a next level. With high quality data in your hands, there's no limit what you can achieve with BIM. Thank you for watching. See you next time.